Welcome or welcome back to my channel, people. Brown Boss J A Tours. Yes, people. So we're back at it again, and today we'll be driving to Brandon Hill here in Montego Bay, St. James. So yes, people. It's been a while. Well, I haven't gone there by myself um, to that area, so I'm just gonna take a drive there. Um, we'll ask directions along the way. We'll start off today from Hart Street here in Montego Bay and we'll go to um Creek Street then Dome Street and we'll that will take you up to Brandon Hill and uh, we'll touch a little on the South Spring Road initially we had planned to go to the South Spring section so we could um, look at the bypass the Montego Bay bypass if you check my channel, you should see other videos or a lot of videos there on the bypass here in Montego Bay. All right. All right. But um, just watch the video while we take you on this journey. Yes, people, come with me. So this was a sort of a busy day here in Montego Bay as um, people is just walking about going to and fro from work and we have um children going to school all right so we're just driving along right now people and driving in montego bay you have to be on the lookout for uh, pedestrians because they can just walk out in the road and sometimes they'll be just walking in the road like that so you just have to be mindful and you know just drive carefully and not drive fast the drivers here in montego bay they love to go really fast i don't know why but um they're just unruly so right now we're on creek street people you know just driving along um heading to dome street all right so we're almost at dome street right now all right, so there is a bad driver. He wanted to overtake. He was coming real fast, so just had to slow down a bit there. All right, but we're on our way now to um, we're actually on Dome Street. This this area it has um, a little rise here on the hill. Well, right, you see what I'm talking about. All right, so they had to put a stoplight here because. You know, it can be dangerous at times coming off this um, steep hill. Yes, people, so that is the discount lumber and hardware store where persons come buy their tools or whatever um, items they need to complete their work. All right, so here we are at the Overton Plaza. That's towards the left, and you have Montego Bay High School towards the right, and straight ahead would be the um National Housing Trust, which is the uh, NHT. So yes, people, we'll be heading right now on the um Brandon Hill Road. As you can see, the road here is a bit um rough, at some parts. You know, I had to drive a bit slowly. Uh, it's in some areas, so yeah, this area needs to be um improved a lot, and it's almost Christmas. I'm seeing where they are, you know, cleaning up some parts, but um, yeah, it needs to be uh cleared out. You know, these shrubs and trees. It could uh, use a facelift so as to, you know, make the place look more um, attractive. But yes, people, we're going to the uh, Brandon Hill section here. We're actually here now. So, yeah, let's stay with me while we just drive through the area. Now, there you can see the yardman at work just clearing out the uh, yard as you can see the christmas work has started where persons are you know clearing out the roadside 
One of the main attractions here in Brandon Hill, Montego Bay, would be the Brandon Hill guest house here. It's uh, fully furnished, you know, well equipped with modern amenities. Um, a really cool getaway that you can spend the night or the weekend at, you know, overlooking Montego Bay pretty much. You can see the hills and also the trees. See us people. A really nice getaway that you can stay with your family. Or if you're having like a wedding or whatever event you have. Yeah, it's a really good place to get away at. Um, yes, one day we will definitely go there and tour it. But for now, we're just driving uh, through the area so that we can, you know, take a good look of how um this place is all right people so yes just driving along as you can see houses on either side of the road yes you can see some large houses fairly large houses and some um smaller ones these some houses looks like they were there like years ago so it's like an an old uh, neighborhood all right, but you can see modern houses here as well and houses that were um, improved. So yes, people, you can see like the sidewalks, they have been cleared up, you know, in preparations for the Christmas season. All right, but um, the roads here, they're horrible at some points. Alright, but we'll soon get to a part where you would see, like, street lights uh, being installed. Uh, I've heard that they were installed recently, you know, just to help the flow of traffic in this area. So, um, at this point, you can see, like, um, a hill view right now. You know, look at houses scattered all over the hillside. Uh, usually large houses because if you can see them from here then you know they are pretty much large units see as people most of the houses that you will pass here they are fenced in all right which is good as privacy is what um, Montegonians you know they love you know to have their houses um, well protected and guarded so you'll find like security cameras being installed and so forth all right so we're just driving uh we'll just head down the hill right now and see if we can get to um salt spring road all right so we're just going down the hill now all right First, I'm coming here, like, um, you know, since recently. Came here, like, years ago. All right, but I'm back now. First, I'm driving through, like, actually driving through this area, you know. So, it's an adventure for me, you know, just to tour this place. So, yes, people, um, come with me. I'm going to take you on this journey so we're at the salt spring um, road and you know i was going to stop well uh, we actually stopped for a while just to ask persons you know directions of where we could find like work going on on the bypass all right so i'm gonna make my way there so as you can see, the road has like a white line on it and there is like a um, stoplight. So yeah, it, it's really good, you know, to have this um, level of control over traffic in this area because you have a lot of taxis going through this area. And as you know, with Jamaican taxis, they can be very unruly on this road. Alright, and they drive really, really fast. 
especially when they have competition and they always have competition all right but yes that's jamaica for you guys all right so we're just driving and uh, you know had to stop to see if we're on the right path all right and we are coming up to another stoplight all right so uh this should be the area yes we stop here you know just ask questions of how we can um get to the bypass all right when we stop though it's some persons who um own the establishment over towards the left so what we were told is that the area right now it's really hot in terms of um crime and violence so you'll have well you might never know like when there is a stray bullet coming for you so upon hearing this you know we decided to head back so we just turned back at this point and made our way back to um downtown Montego Bay all right people so i'll be driving back now and yeah you will definitely see how it looks right now uh from this angle where you can see the other side of the road clearly and see um the traffic from the other side all right people you know i really wanted to see like the work going on in that end but as you know uh that area right now is really hot there should be like um a checkpoint there as well for the soe the state of emergency all right but even so you know it's best to stay out of the cross here you know just keep on the safe side so we'll just head back when the bypass has um progressed even further then we will definitely you know make our way over um on the bypass so that you guys can definitely see what the road looks like um going from montego bay to iron shore you know and not traveling through the downtown area so um a really good look here people from montego bay all right and i'll definitely keep you guys posted um on the progress of that project all right so people will just be driving on our way back so um stay with me you know i'll make my way through the the downtown area as well well pretty much through um union street and just driving through the back streets as well and we will come out at um, bay west and uh, we'll end the journey at the kfc area all right so stay with me people while i take you um through this area